New at 11, preying on some of the most vulnerable. Tonight, Randolph police say a woman disguised as a hospice worker was actually stealing from seniors. Ken McLeod shows us what their investigation uncovered. Randolph police are now trying to find the rightful owners for a bunch of stolen jewelry. Senior citizens who thought the accused thief was trying to help them. We caught Charlene Fitzgerald heading out for an errand tonight, and the 68-year-old was disgusted. This happens to elderly people, unfortunately. She's talking about the arrest of Ann Rose Florent, a home health aide now charged with identity theft and credit card fraud, accused of ripping off elderly residents of senior and assisted living facilities like this one in Randolph. I know the place we live in here. They're so careful. I mean, if it can happen here, where else is it happening? According to police, it was happening in at least six towns where Florent would flash one of her dozen agency IDs to gain entrance and then knock on residents' doors, many of them dementia patients. When someone knocks on the door and they're friendly and whatever, they just let them in. Sad. When questioned, police say she'd tell victims their insurance company sent her before stealing jewelry, credit cards, and even blank checks. They should get the book thrown at them because they're, they're really preying on the most vulnerable members of the community. We found Cassandra Valari visiting her mom tonight. Because uh, oftentimes they don't have anyone who is watching out for them. Police say they were alerted to missing items in late March and quickly connected it to Florent, searching her Weymouth apartment to retrieve all sorts of stolen stuff and the designer handbags she bought with stolen plastic. So what more can you do? People are going to be who they are, unfortunately. Police acknowledge some of the victims may not even be aware of it yet, and they're welcoming calls from family members to see if any of the stolen jewelry here might belong to a loved one. In Randolph, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. All right, Ken, thank